Now we'll talk about time and space complexity. In this particular video, we'll talk about only the space complexity. Now, there are some criteria for judging algorithms that have a more direct relationship to performance. These have to do with their computing time and storage requirement. The space complexity of an algorithm is the amount of memory it needs to run to completion. So basically, here the memory means the primary memory. We'll talk about the primary memory. Okay. Now, how to calculate the space complexity? So we'll talk about the space complexity. Suppose this program number one. Okay, in this particular program, if you want to calculate the space complexity, now what are what are A, B, C? So these are the memory unit. Okay, so A, B, C. So here we need three unit memory. So if A, B, C are the integer type, then if one integer takes four byte, then total twelve units are there. Twelve bytes. Uh, uh, are there? It needs needs the algorithm needs 12 bytes. If one in, if they are floating floating point number, so then it will vary. Okay, so it depends upon so the unit. How many uh, variables are there? Three variables are there. So the space complexity is the space complexity is three. Now here 10.6 is a literal. Okay, so uh, you may consider memory space for 10.6 or you may not so in this particular video we will not consider the memory space requirement for requirement for the uh, literals next next example okay now suppose one program is there algo sum a comma n two parameters are there formal parameters s is equal to 0 for i is equal to 1 to n s is equal to s plus ai return s now what is the space complexity for that okay now we need one memory space for s we need one memory space for i this for i we need one memory space for n okay and we need what about the memory space required for a so a is an array so the array size is 1 to n okay so array so array size it may start from 0 so it is 0 to Actually, it is 0 to a n. The memory space is 0 n plus 1 because up to it is 1 to n. Okay. So, total space. So, s this one. So, total space required space complexity is n plus 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, the space complexity is n plus 4. Next. In this case, we need one memory space for s. We need one for i, one for j, one for n, one for m, and we need memory space for a. So a size it depends on m and n. Okay, so start from zero zero. Okay, so the memory space requirement for a is nothing but m plus one into n plus one. Okay. So total memory space requirement is m plus 1, okay, obviously 1x is there, one more x is there, so x is equal to 1, okay, and return x, we have to return it. So total constant part 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, 6 plus m, m, okay, m into n plus 1 plus 6 so m plus 1 into n plus 1 plus 6 so if you solve it to so m n plus m plus n is 1 so plus 7 so space complexity is m n plus m plus n plus 7 so it is clear why it is m plus n suppose it is two dimensional array okay so it is up to m so 0 to m and 0 to n so total number of columns Okay, 1 plus m, 
total number of rows 1 plus n so total memory requirement 1 plus m into 1 plus n clear next you just see this one can you calculate space complexity for this particular problem so we need memory one memory space for s one for n any other no so total memory space space complexity is two it is constant now see here can you calculate the space complexity for this particular program it's a recursive type program okay now we can write space complexity for in detail. like this way Suppose so whenever a function call another function whenever a function if is called then we need stack memory so for the recursion remember one thing for the recursion type problem we have to calculate memory requirement for the stack memory now whenever here our sum the function is calling itself many times the function is calling this particular function many times now while a function called another function so it store information about the local variable it store information about the actual actual parameters and the return address these are so the, the things all the information are stored in to the stack memory this is nothing but our stack memory so for the recursive type program problem we have to calculate the memory requirement for the stack memory now we can see here uh, where we have to store information about the local address okay the actual parameter we have to we have to we have to store next we have to store information about the addition okay the local variables okay so the local variables a n we have to store about the local variables okay next we'll talk about the information about the in uh, the parameters okay the look uh, the actual parameters so here the actual parameters are a and n minus one they were passing this one these are the actual parameter clear so information about the a and information about the in minus one so every time we need three unit of memory space are you getting actual parameters a and n minus return one. address but where we have to return where the program should return after finishing it so every time this particular algorithm needs three unit of memory space now how many times it require so basically a function this particular function will call n plus one times okay so total memory space requirement is 3 into n plus 1 so space complexity is 3 into n plus 1 are you getting this one so we can solve suppose r sum a comma say 3 so a comma 3 means here we need memory space 1 for a 1 for 3 and 1 for the data address three now it call another same function r sum a comma two here we need another three it will call one once again r sum a comma one we need three it will call once again r sum a comma zero it needs three so n is equal to what n is equal to three okay so this is nothing but our n so n is equal to three so if n is equal to three means so total number of call 1 2 3 4 so 3 plus 1 and every time it needs 3 3 3 3 so total space complexity for that 3 into n plus 1 this 3 is these, these are the 3 and n plus 1 is total number of 1 2 3 4 are you getting so space complexity for this recursive type algorithm for this particular recursive algorithm it is 3 so for the different so remember one thing for the recursive type algorithm we should store information about the stack memory okay not the uh, primary memory actual variable okay now it's a simple program for frequency series now can you calculate the space complexity okay so if n is less than one if n is less than one we need memory space for n only if n is more than two 
okay if n is more than 1 then we need memory space for f2 for f1 okay for i for n and for fn so 1 1 2 3 4 5 1 1 2 3 4 5 so it is 5 unit okay but remember one thing it is not this 5 is relative it is not fixed suppose n is sufficiently large now the question is is it 5 is the final answer no if n is sufficiently large we need large size of fn okay so if so the that 5 is depends on this n so if n is small then we can say it is 5 otherwise it is this 5 is not the final answer okay and that is the end of this particular video we will talk about time complexity in the next video thank you